In this video, I'm going to be telling you some hourglass tips that could change your streaks from barely getting one to getting flooded with wins. These tips will be able to help you when defending, attacking, or they'll just save you some time. And not only could they be used to win an hourglass, but they could be used in adventure all the same, getting you a heaping pile of treasure. But let's be honest, you want those PvP curses. The first tip can almost always give you the upper hand in a parallel against your enemy. Sometimes when trying to load your cannon to attack, you grab the cannon, but you get knocked off because your enemy keeps hitting you with one balls since you're stationed in one spot. This means you'll either have to let your ship tank the shots and wait for them to resupply, or keep trying and get possibly one ball. But you can actually load your cannon without actually having to grab it. Instead, grab out your cannonballs from the radial menu and load it while you stand next to your cannon. This way you can actually load it without stationing yourself to one spot and you can evade incoming cannon fire. Then once it's loaded, shoot it at the enemy's cannon line and knock them off their cannons and get the upper hand. You could also take it one step further and hotkey your cannonballs so you have one less step to make. But while this tip gives you an edge during naval, this next one gives you an edge during TDM. If you have your enemy pinned down and having them continuously bilging, the one thing that could delay them or get them more worried is by boarding. The sound of a board shot will immediately have the enemy team not only stress about keeping their boat afloat, but also having to watch their ladders for boarders. But what if you can't board because you're busy doing something else or you don't have another teammate? If you have a pet monkey, you can actually replicate the sound of a board shot with your monkey without shooting yourself out. This will make the same sound as a pirate shooting out of the cannon and will cause your enemies to constantly check for boarders, even though there aren't any. But if you actually board, make sure you load up on worms. Why worms? Well, when you eat worms, not only does it top off your health last second so you don't have to use those saved up pineapples, but it also makes you throw up without going completely blind. The one person that could be blinded though is your enemy with your throw up. So when you're preparing to board, munch down a couple of worms so that while you're fighting, you have the chance to blind your enemy and almost render their sight completely useless. Not only should you bring worms, but you should bring something else that could potentially win you the game. If the enemy is filling up with water while you board, it could benefit you hugely if you bring a bucket of water. If your enemy's water level is above the second deck and is literally one bucket away from sinking, you could throw that bucket of water on them and win the battle without having to TDM. Being harpooned off your boat and then killed by your enemy is always an annoyance, especially when you're trying to back out of the fight to repair. But there's actually one place where you can't get harpooned and you could use this to your advantage. Holding onto the wheel while steering keeps you from being harpooned off your boat if you're above deck. So if you need to maneuver out of the fight, keep your hands on the wheel. If you're spiraling around your opponent after taking down their mast and they're bucketing their ship, try to hit the spot where they're throwing out the water such as the stairs on the sloop or the break because this will cause your enemies to be bounced around from the shots, causing your enemy to miss their bucket throw and possibly backsplash. This has worked multiple times and won me many fights, so this might be one of the strongest tips I have on this list. And lastly, if you're siphoning food from sunken barrels of ships but you're getting the 500 banana they have instead of the good food like mangoes, pineapples, or pomegranates, grab some of the good food out yourself and put it in the storage crate. Then when you try to siphon the food out again, you'll get the good food first instead of the coconuts and bananas. And also come watch me on my Twitch where I might be streaming to eat these right now. And if you want to learn how to have the best cannon aim out of all your crew and especially during Hourglass, then click on this video right here and learn all about it.